Seven minutes past six is the time. It's been an incredibly tough 12 months for the high street. Some big names going bust and we've seen clo stores closing up and down the country. So John Lewis will give an update on how they're doing a little later on this morning. And maybe in, in amongst that, there could be announcements about stores. Uh, yeah, about it, yeah, those are the reports that there will be more store closures and with them... There... Simon, thanks very much. Time now is 6.23. A boy who suffered life-changing burns in a caravan fire that killed his younger brother is attempting to scale the height of Everest at home. Harley's family was told to prepare for the worst after the fire, but since then he's made a remarkable recovery and now he wants to raise money for the charity that helped him get back on his feet. Should warn you, Tomas Morgan's report does contain some images which you may find upsetting. Coming Great smile, isn't it? Isn't it? I tell you what, there's a couple of things in that is you think it's a, it's a testament to the spirit of uh, a young man who's doing an amazing thing, a whole family's doing an amazing thing, but also to the work that the work that those experts did in the hospital in Bristol. Quite remarkable. It's just it was shocking seeing him, wasn't it? And and then seeing him start to walk and then smile in hospital and yeah. recover from that. Uh, it's worth saying a little bit later on, uh, ten past eight this morning, we'll find out a little bit more about you know, what they've achieved there and, uh, and about what their family's doing. That's uh, coming up at 10 past 8 this morning. First day, wherever you are in the country, find out what's happening with the news, travel and weather. See you soon. Time now is 6.42. As Mike was just saying, Liverpool has progressed in the Champions League, but a year ago today, they exited the competition following a now infamous home clash against Atletico Madrid. The game took place in front of a packed stadium, including 3,000 fans from Madrid, then the epicentre of the coronavirus pandemic. Our reporter, Mairead Smith, has been to meet a family who believe the loss of a loved one was a direct result of going to that match. Liverpool was going to get better. Better compared to now. It's That's all relative. Better. That is better. 6.51. Matt, thanks very much. So, uh, keep Britain tidy is saying there has been a rise in the number of families asking for litter-picking kits to help keep their communities clean during lockdown. What are they asking for? Litter-picking kits, and it's linked to something you might have seen uh, last week, which is a litter cam. The idea is just it's something that monitors whether people are chucking stuff away when they shouldn't be. So now they've got... Come on, it's litter picker kits. That's what they've got. Phil Mackey's been meeting one group in Birmingham. Back to you both. <laughs> okay. Good tips. Thank you. Yeah. The important things very, that matter. Very practical. Very important. Like very important. Thanks, Matt. Uh, 12 minutes to 8 is the time. On this programme yesterday, we bid farewell to Chinua, an 8-year-old black rhino who was preparing to embark on a 4,000-mile journey from North Yorkshire to Tanzania. Now she's on her way. Lakshmi Gopal has been following the first leg of that epic voyage. Take a look. Chinua has... Well, that didn't really work very well, did well, it? Because I think, people, people I think of a certain age will know what I'm talking about. Go. Have a look at it. He was, <laughs> he, was, he was way ahead of you with the swimming in the sea by way mm. of that kind of propulsion. Okay. Have a look at it. Lovely <laughs> seeing where you are today. Looks absolutely stunning. Very envious of where you are. Thank you. No problem. Just that freedom Kate has, that confidence oh. to go and get into the sea. And she is showing off where she lives with Mermaid Tales. It's on BBC Alba and the iPlayer from the 16th of March. Headlines are coming up in just a moment. Good morning. It's night. Back to you both. Thanks, Matty. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> it's not awkward at all, is it, Matt? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's see, ten minutes past eight. A boy who suffered life-changing burns in a caravan fire which killed his younger brother is attempting to scale the height of Everest at home, of course. This is quite a challenge. Uh, Harley's family was told to prepare for the worst after that fire, but he's since made a quite remarkable recovery. He wants to raise money for the charity that helped him get back on his feet. Now, I should warn you, Tomas Morgan's report does contain some images that you may find upsetting. 